So, can you see me again? I think you should be able. <laughs> so let me just say, hey guys and girls. <laughs> this is Gordon Overkill, I'm back again with a new adventure in the Dracolor chain, playing Ancient Domains of Mystery. Well, and since we play this character on stream before it gets online on YouTube, I will try to do a little bit of a beginner-friendly run and explain a bit of the basics so those who are new to the game could, if they want to, follow along. So, let's do it. New game. Uh, we play in roguelike mode, of course, because we always do that. And I will completely fate roll the character. Usually you can choose your... Oh, Instrumental Freak, nice to meet you here on the stream. Hi. <laughs> we just start a new game because Pardonias just suffered a painful death. By the hands of the High King, one shot killed from three quarters HP. <laughs> no, I did not lose a bet. It was uh, originally my New Year's moustache. Then it was my tournament uh, talisman moustache. And now I just keep it for a while because I like it. <laughs> so, um, usually you can customize your character quite a bit. You can choose your race, your star sign and your class. And you can also distribute your attributes. I don't do that. I play just randomly rolled characters because I like to have uh, fate uh, decide for me. So, fate roll star sign. Female or male, let's fate decide. A race, fate decide. Profession, fate decides. And our points will be uh, distributed by fate. Let's see what character we play now. You are born in the month of the tree. That means we get an increased willpower, good for casters, increased toughness, good for every, everybody, increased pro uh, protection value. Nice. To be a female gnome, we are a gnome. Nice. You have brown hair, blue eyes, and a light complexion. Your mother is a mighty enchantress. She is unmarried. Your father is living in the vicinity of your mother's tower. He is a humble shepherd. As a child, you lived through happy days. Your parents tried to ease your life as much as possible and gave you a lot of comfort. During your youth, you had a lot of fun playing with other kids of your age. You always were a natural leader and the center of interest. As a young adult, you tried many occupations before finally deciding on one to pursue. This has left you with a very broad base of law. At the age of 109, you end your apprenticeship. You are now a fully learned Minecrafter. We are a gnomish Minecrafter. Interesting, I like to play Minecrafters. The Minecraft special abilities are pretty cool. That means we have a bit of trouble learning other kinds of magic, but well, so be it. We will be a melee character supported with Minecraft. A female gnome, and now guys, I need your help. We need a name for this female gnome. While I distribute our talent points, it would be great if you could come up, up with a name for our character. So, we take alert and miser, of course, because we want the treasure hunter talent. Apart from that, I think we also go for long stride. So we have a bit of an advantage outrunning our enemies. And now it's your turn, guys. What's the name of our female gnomish Minecrafter? I would probably come up with something extremely stupid and then I would have to uh, to apologize for uh, calling the name stupid. Tiffany? I think Tiffany is a decent name for a gnome. For a gnome. I kind of like it. And it's definitely a name I would not have come up with myself. Let's do that. Tiffany, the female gnomish Minecrafter. For 6,000 years, 
the world of Ancadia was a serene world, unmolested by the forces of chaos. But now the sinister forces of evil and darkness have opened a gateway, somewhere deep within the mountains of the Dracolor chain. Terrors from unknown dimensions flood the world of Ancardia and wreak havoc, spreading corruption even faster. Now it's up to you to explore the Dracula chain, meet its inhabitants, find the source of chaos and defeat it. Or maybe even join forces with it to conquer the world. Who knows? For now, we have all the choices, because Tiffany, our new heroine, is neutral. She can maybe decide if she wants to go the path of chaos or the path of order, or maybe she will strive for balance instead. Let's take a look at our character. Tiffany starts with 18 HP, that's not too much. 13 power points, that's okay. Six strength, oh, she is quite a weakling. We want to increase this stat. Learning 17, decent. Willpower 19, nice, with the bonus from our uh, star sign. Dexterity 16, that's good. Toughness 12, okay. Pretty charismatic, and she looks decent, absolutely, for a gnome. An attractive gnome, ra rather. 21 points in mana are very good, and perception 17 is nice, too. We are wearing a rope, one point of protection, and no mish boots, two points of protection. Uh, one point of protection, two points of defense. We start with two runs, and sadly it's both runs of uh, rings of stun resistance. That's not so cool. Quarter stuff is a decent weapon. A wand of fire helps us in the early game. Potion of learning, cool. We want to bless and drink it. Potion of confusion, cool too. Scroll of item destruction, so we can destroy one cursed item if we have to. And a blank scroll. Okay, the starting equipment is not the best. It's not the best. I've seen better things. Anyways, let's go, Tiffany. Time to close the Chaos Gate. Finally. What do we do at first? We enter the Dracula chain and do something that doesn't matter for people who just go for an ordinary win. We want to keep all options. So the first place we visit is this year. La Vinyl Hotel an outlaw settlement. You enter a derelict and muddy settlement, populated by equally derelict and muddy persons. This is the outlaw settlement. You see, right over here, for example, there is an outlaw. He is friendly. We will keep it like that, because outlaws are stronger than us at the moment. <laughs> see how Tiffany looks? I like the, 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 the look of the Gnoll woman with a, with a big nose and these eyes. I think she looks pretty cool. <laughs> Up there is the rattling trader who sells uh, keys to us. The building to the south down here is the black market. And this black market, we take a look at it and see if it has something nice to offer. Hand axe, sling, ring of fire resistance, that's not bad. Uncursing scroll, that's excellent. One important thing to know about Adam. Once you have seen one item like this scroll of uncursing, all future scrolls of uncursing in the game will be identified. So now we know how scrolls of uncursing look. That's very good. Same with scrolls of identify. Nice. Potion of cure poison. I just pick up all the items that we might want to buy or probably even steal later. Balance potion, nope. But water, water is pretty cool. Magic mapping, good to know. And a wand of acid, that's not bad either. We drop all these items here on this one square. Drop the unpaid items, all of them. Uh, and we might come back for these items later. Before we enter this location, I saw a particular enemy up here. Maybe this, this is blood that we see here. I would 
very much like to kill a beggar, but we don't find a beggar to kill. Rather, we find a hostile outlaw, so we just leave this place. We will come back later. Next, we go up here and enter this uh, small cave. Uh-huh, 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 you should not stay for too long, that's absolutely true, but what is this on the ground? That's an interestingly looking cotter stuff. Let us see if we can quickly kill these two guys. Then pick up this quarter stuff, which is hopefully better than our quarter stuff. Let's give it a try. It's a stuff of corruption dissemination. I don't know exactly what it does, but corruption doesn't sound good. Maybe it has bonus damage against corrupting enemies, but maybe it just corrupts us. I don't want to find that out. Pick up these scrolls, the first of them. Says that the stairs are 146 uh, paces away. That's quite far. But there is a tension room on this level. Interesting to know. Yeah, okay. Maybe it corrupts the enemies or us. Dissemination. Ah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Other scroll says time is working against you. We will not stay in here. We come back later. A large jackal pack. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. We have to get away from them. This jackalware up here can summon lots of these small jackals. And we're definitely not in a state where we can, uh, where we can fight jackals. So let's try to run away from them and hope that we can reach the border of the map we can. Whew. This random wilderness encounter could very well have killed us. That was lucky. So, let's enter the next location. You enter Terinio, a tiny, ham a tiny hamlet consisting of a few primitive cottages, a shop and a village hall. Trees grow peacefully between the small homes of the local populace. You feel at ease. Uh, this is of course the good location. La Vanilo Tail is for the, for the bad guys and this is for the good guys. Uh, we have herbalism to start with, so <laughs> there are two mutually exclusive quests in this town. We take the one that uh, gives us the healing skill rather than another one that gives us the herbalism skill. This guy, the druid, good Alak, would give us the herbalism quest, but we don't want that. We can quickly talk to the sheriff. Tybat pare. Listen, Karnach the Raider is roaming the countryside. He's a nasty raider out on pillage. Slay him and you'll receive a nice reward. <laughs> a bit like Shire, yeah, maybe. <laughs> I guess it is. Eyeless, abide by the laws and us will be friends. You know, we set bounties on the heads of criminals. Bring him in. We might do that. We might do that. But at first, there are two more people we want to talk with. This guy is the first one. Rint, the village elder. Us people in Pester, uh, is pestered by critters from the caves to the southeast. The village carpenter tried to explore the dungeon, but what was not seen again. It would be great if you could discover his whereabouts. Of course we'll do that. Of course we will. And one more quest is missing that we want to get from here. When the game stops lagging. Here. You see this tiny girl with a flower in her hair? We talk to that girl. Has she seen my little doggy? Disappeared near the dark hole on the pass. We feared it got lost. Would you get it back to me? Tiny girl, we will try. Hooray! Mommy says there are bad... Hurry! Mommy says there are bad, bad things in the cave. So, that's all we wanted from here. Now let's make sure to get our character into shape. At the moment we are still pretty weak. Level 1 character. Not a lot we can do. So let's at first 
start by doing the first level of the puppy cave. The first level should be very doable and we directly reach level 2. What do we want to increase? Herbalism is pretty nice. We might do some herb grinding with this character. But apart from that, I think... We don't have the best skill set. Really not. Let's increase our concentration a little bit. First aid. So we have got a bit of a chance to heal. Herbalism. And... What else do we want? Maybe we can do one on literacy as well. Music. Music uh, allows you to play an instrument and you can use this instrument to calm down animals. Pretty cool. So if you play a bard, you can actually make use of that. Maybe we should do that on one character in the, in the future. You think we should learn music? <laughs> Let's learn music. Why not? I, I, I don't use it very often, but uh, I think this might be a, music, a musical character. Okay, a little bit more on herbalism. That's it then. Pick up the arrows. We want to learn that sooner or later. Ordinary clothes. We don't need clothes. Here are the downstairs. Oh no, it's a cat, it's a cat, it's a cat. There is a very good reason in this game not to kill cats. Usually I, I, I mess it up. At one point I just don't pay attention and I run into a cat and kill it. But I would prefer not to do so. So let's run away. Keep the skeleton between us and the cat. Oh, here comes it. But we are pretty fast. We have a long stride. Let's close this door and leave this dungeon. Instead, we go up here to this unassuming cave. You enter a rather unremarkable cave complex. An easy wind is going and you feel that life is rife for new experiences to make. That's what we do. This is the beginner's dungeon. In the first three games, after installing Ancient Domains of Mystery, you get a specific dungeon layout here. Afterwards, you get just a three-level random dungeon without any amazing features, without a boss or anything like that. But you can use this dungeon to get a bit of experience and get your character ready for the following adventures. That's what we'll try to do. What I forgot, what was the shortcut to um, to use the Minecraft abilities. I quickly have to check that. Uh, settings. Key settings, key settings, key settings, key settings. Where are they? No. Game quest, this is, this is, uh, game customization, maybe? Nope. Anybody got that on my in mind? No, 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 no. I don't kill cats. You can kill cats, but it will give you a serious disadvantage at one situation a lot deeper into the game. And it will also cost you a big advantage that you will get. The reason is Thomas Biscop, the creator of this beautiful game, he loves cats. There are certain cats in this game and Thomas Biscop, the creator, just doesn't want us to kill them. So he uh, implemented uh, a big motivation to keep these cats alive. <laughs> I won't spoil you. Anybody got the keys for using Minecraft? Uh, I thought it was M or something like that. No, M is for missiles. N, N. What was it? P? Or, oh, I completely forgot it. Where are the key bindings? Am I blind? Nope, 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 nope. Oh, damn. Oh, it's embarrassing. Like this, like this, no. So I, at the moment we don't, might be under help in the menu. Let's try that. Key bindings, introduction to item, general horoscope races. Professions, alignments, skills, talents. Nope. Where were the key bindings? Am I stupid? Uh, obviously I am. Uh, nope. 
control I. Uh, yeah, excellent. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, because we need the confusion blast. That will be extremely helpful for our early fights. <coughs> this glass amulet that we just found, being a bit of a spoiled player, I know what it does. A glass amulet is always an amulet of light. We don't know that yet, but we know if we get into a dark room, we can just equip the glass amulet and it will help us to to light the room around us. Also, you see, we just got hungry. Hunger is a mechanic in this game and uh, many promising characters starve to death in the time that this game exists. This door is locked. For the new players, if you kick in a locked door, you always want to do it from a diagonal angle. Yeah, thanks, Celery. Uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, wish you a good remaining evening and uh, see you next time. <laughs> so, we kicked this door from, from a diagonal angle. The reason is um, there's a chance that there is a stone block trap. So if you kick the door, a stone block falls to this square right in front of the door. And a stone block does a ton of damage and can easily kill an early game character. We'd like to avoid that. Okie dokie, see you in a minute then. Now we use a confusion blast. Confusing this orc, making it a lot less dangerous when we fight it. We improve concentration twice. Maybe haggling twice. We might want to haggle a little bit. And we get another talent at level 3. The talent that I like is Treasure Hunter. Let's eat this orc corpse. It helps us uh, solve our hunger problem. And we don't let this orc go to waste. Apart from that, we just found something very nice. A studded leather armor. A studded leather armor has a almost guaranteed protection value of 3. In the early game, protection equals survival. So we will instantly equip this leather armor and it, indeed it has a protection value of three excellent doubling our total protection value ouch kill it ouch that hurt first aid nope couple of weak enemies to fight here. The Hobgoblin, uh, he's not completely weak. Let's uh, confuse him. We advance to level 4. Bit of climbing, bit of concentration. A bit more haggling, I think. And maybe also, let's get herbalism a little higher. Forget anything? Yeah, down here is yet another corridor that we didn't check yet. Oh, and see that? We increased our music and here is an instrument. We found ourselves a harp. If we get our music skill a little higher, we might try to tame an animal at one point. Anyways, we're done with the first level. Ouch. Stop that orc. Also, we just got our first weapon, a uh, ranged weapon. Let's use this short bow. It's not even cursed, perfect. So from now on, we can shoot these missiles. <sighs> God, I'm still a bit, uh, a bit sad that uh, Padonias got killed by the High King. It's pretty bad. It really feels a bit like learning the game completely new. I have to... Uh, make all the mistakes again that I <laughs> used to learn from in the past. I thought about that now that we picked up the bow. There was no reason not to kill the High King from a distance. We were a spellcaster. I, I just didn't think he could do that much damage. Now we know it. 
Oh, nice, a metal girdle. That's an ordinary metal girdle, uh, which gives us another point of protection. Protection already up to five. This beginner dungeon is nice to us. Kick in the door. Oh my god, a mixed tension room. Not good. Aye, aye, aye. What do we have here? Wear it. Bandit. Large cobalt. Clay statue. Oh my god, it's a uh, lizard man zombie. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyways, I wanted to win that run and I want to win this run too. Can we kill the statue? That's the question. With five points of protection, maybe we can give it a try in normal mode. Let's see. Oh no, I don't think we can. I don't think we can. We better retreat from here. Also, the statue is immune to our minecrafting attacks. That doesn't make it easier for us. So we retreat from the beginner's dungeon. That's a bit sad, but um, well, it's a mixed tension room. <laughs> I think that's a good reason to retreat. So now that this is not available, here was the cat. Uh, oh my God, it says DCSS. Damn, how do I change that? Yeah, Karu, I will, I will find out how to change that <laughs> before the next stream. That, that's true, I should have changed that. It was uh, my bad. <laughs> so um, let's pretend that this is a DCSS branch, which looks surprisingly like Adom. <laughs> I think that's what we do. Let's play this new DCSS branch called Ancient Domains of Mystery. <laughs> But I changed that before the next episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks a lot for mentioning it. <laughs> Anyways, what do we do next? <coughs> I think we will now go to this dungeon. An ancient stair leading into the depths of the hills. This is the dungeon for the quest that we took in Terinio. The quest to learn the whereabouts of the carpenter. I also should make more use of our of our bow and just train it like crazy because bows and arrows are pretty overpowered in this game. Round key, useful. Uh, no, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm struggling with my game, Ancient Domains of Mystery. Have you been able to change it? That would be amazing. Hmm. Yeah, it works somehow. I'm not quite sure how it works, but there, there is a chance to change the game name. Uh, I'm pretty sure of that. Your muscles feel stronger. Excellent. We just increased our strength by walking around in this burdened state of ours. Concentration reached the maximum. Herbalism a little higher. Literacy is also pretty close to the maximum already. Change game, ancient domains of mystery. Maybe that worked. Doesn't work. Yeah, th there must be some way to do it, but I just don't know how. Let's pick up this large ration. 
The reason why I love to walk around heavily burdened is because that trains the strength of your character in this game. And strength 7 is pretty low, we want to get that higher. Oh, we found the downstairs, nice. But at first, let's check the rest of the level. Oops. Hi, Tungsten. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Yeah? Yeah, I have no idea how it works. Yeah, I'll do it next time. Nee, wenn, das, wenn sie das sehen, dann sie es fest. Ja, aber meinst du, dass sie meinen Stream sehen? Das ist doch höchst unwahrscheinlich. Ja, wenn ich das so gut wie das Wort kann, aber das ist doch auch schon klar. Hm? Meine Frau hat mir gesagt, dass es ein bisschen schwierig ist, auf Twitch zu spielen und dein Spiel unkorrekt zu nennen. Es könnte in einem Ban resultieren. Oh, I will tell her the greetings. So maybe I'm... How does that work? How do I change that on Twitch? Wait a second, I will try to do that. I, I don't want to get a ban, that would be pretty sad. Um, so, maybe if I go to the Twitch page and here, change something, but what and where? Uh, need to go to my channel. Mm-hmm, channel, here is the channel. Ah, yeah, now I'm in my own chat, does that help? Not really. Can I change that here? I click on Dungeon Cross Stone Surf. No, that was bad, that didn't work. I click uh, randomly on other things, nope. Uh, somebody could, re I could report myself. I don't want to do that either. Ah, I found it. Uh, adventures in the Rakalor chain is the new stream title. And the game is called Ancient Domains of Mystery. So now, hopefully, if I click on ready, does it look good? I think that worked. Woohoo! <laughs> First big success of the night. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> eliminated the chance of uh, getting banned from Twitch. At least for the moment. Anyways, now we're back at the serious part, which is not uh, making the people of Twitch happy. It's rather surviving in this dangerous dungeon. No, come on, kick it. Oh, that's a room full of orcs. Should be a bit careful here. Let's try to kill these orcs. I'm not sure if we need to use our Minecraft. We we'll check that. We, we will see. A crude knife. A crude knife is probably better than than our weapon. Oh, level six, excellent. You now recover quickly from confusion. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's improve our first aid twice. Mm, our heckling once, and maybe let's try to max literacy. Almost maxed. We get a new talent too, and I think we want to be quick as a falcon. Let's use, let's learn quickness. Hand axe don't need, but there is another crude knife. And if both of these 
crude knives are no, uh, they're not the, the same stack sadly I'm a bit afraid that one of them might be cursed so I will not wait a second we could just try it we have a scroll of uh, item destruction let's see if this one is cursed it is not so we have an orcish knife now if we use this orcish knife we could as well use the small shield that we found a while ago and it's an excellent small shield gives us two points of protection wow lucky drop I think we just eat this large ration, yeah. And we found a scroll of identify. Not bad either. At one point we want to identify all our oh, equipment. Critical hit. Damn. Retreat. Kill the cobalt first and then kill the rat. Another identifier scroll, nice. And an arrow. Ouch, that hurt a little bit. Eat this large bat corpse and continue. He just dropped another crude knife. We are getting a nice little connection or a collection of crude knives. Hmm, and I'm almost sure there will be a secret door somewhere on this part of the level. Either here. Ah, wait. Yeah, here it is. Uh, you get a feeling for the layouts of the randomly generated levels and sometimes you just know there is more than uh, that it was obvious to the eye. Maybe there's even more. Not here. We could try it from from that room over there. already got our second scroll of magic mapping not bad so let's see if we've got a secret door here as well no it doesn't seem so okay that means that's everything let's go down to the next level this max literacy Apart from that, I like to have a little bit of mining. Uh, no, no, no. Let's let's work on a musical career. A little bit music, but also mining. I think mining is cool. Let's learn mining. Excellent. And we're down to the third level of the village dungeon. Getting a little bit hungry. We have, we've got enough food in reserve. So we're not in danger of starvation. Just picked up yet another ration, but I'd like to eat these corpses first, just so we can keep our, our rations for, for times of need.
Ouch, that hurt. Let's maybe uh, confusion blast him. And we just trained our dagger skill up by one level. That's excellent. Oh, also we found a black helmet, plus two points of protection. Decreases our perception a little bit, but we take that anyways. Protection equals survival. And we already have nine points of protection now. Not bad, not bad. Uh -huh. So, down to the fourth level of the village dungeon. The fourth level is a level that, uh, yeah, here he is. This level always has this guy here. Gerald the healer. Let's talk to him. Well met, sister. What would you like to do? Learn or be healed? I'd like to learn. Before I will teach him, you, you need to prove that you are able to exert mercy. Okay, we will do that. I know how that works, luckily. <laughs> We do not want to kill cats. But being a Minecrafter, we've got an option. We just conf... Ah, misclicked. We just... You lack the strength. Why are we out of power points? I don't really know that. There is a tension room on this level. Have to be careful. I want to get rid of this cat, but in a peaceful way. So I lure this cat up here into this room with Jared, maybe. And now let's just use our Minecraft ability, the Confusion Blast, at the cat. The cat is now confused. And we can just walk. Oh no. Confusion just wore off. Let's try that again. Close the door and go away. We will come back later. Just remember, there is cat. Getting hungry, let's eat the large ration. Oh yeah, here's the tension room. Completely full of orcs and goblins. Nice chance to train our dagger skill a little. So we get a little bit better with our with our crude dagger. Uh, I think I'd rather play that safe against this orc. Confuse him first. They dropped a crude spear. That's a better weapon. That's cool. Double potion and an apple. Let's not train daggers anymore. Let's rather swap from our crude knife to the crude spear. Which is an orcish spear. 1d8 plus 2. And it has the defensive bonus of a spear. Clearly an improvement. Let's use confusion wave to confuse them all. But we want to kill this orc first. Perfect. Oh no, a shot bow got ripped apart by a trap. It's not so cool. Oh, there must be a spider somewhere who spun this webs. Here it is. Let's directly confuse the spider because we don't want it to poison us to death. Hopefully we can kill it. Yeah, 
spider down. Perfect. Another unknown potion. Not bad. Arms level one, that's excellent. And go downstairs. Right, uh, stop, 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 stop. It's a little bit of the level we haven't scouted yet, just to make sure there's nothing cool on the ground there. Dungeon 5. It's another ordinary dungeon level. Oh, and this dungeon is completely full of orc scorchers. I think. It's definitely worth using the confusion confusion wave here. Oh, is that a magical weapon? Looks good. I think it is. A scimitar, and what kind of a scimitar is it? It is indeed a mithril scimitar. Let's try that. Additional damage and an increase to hit chance. I think I stick with the spear though, because the spear has the better defensive stats in the beginning. It's always good to have a mithril weapon in the backhand, though. Mm -hmm. Let's continue working on our musical career. Oh, that were bad improvements. But we put everything on music anyways and mining. Oh, 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 oh. take care, take care, take care, take care. That hurt. Let's confusion wave everybody around us. Now kill this orc first. Continue with the bandits. I absolutely don't want a musician killed. The only thing worse than a, a puppy getting killed would probably be a a musician getting killed. Poor, cute little musicians. That's why I make excessive use of the uh, of the confusion ability, just to make sure. That the chance of our musician dying. Is as little as possible. <laughs> I think everybody who watches this stream live has the right to be called a cute person. <laughs> so. <laughs> Cutest audience on Twitch. Anybody? Any objection? Uh, lip, any objections? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no, no. The, the the cute little musician I was talking of <laughs> is of course Tiffany. Take a look at her with that, with these 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 cute round eyes and the round nose and the round ears. If that's not cute. I think nothing ever was cute in this world and nothing will ever be. I'm a bit afraid of just meleeing the orc scorcher, especially since we're getting hungry. Let us maybe try to retreat. 
Uh, wear red, not so good. Confuse it. Kill everybody who follows us. And then maybe have a snack. We are a bit low on mana as well, so let's maybe regenerate a couple of power points before we continue here. Here's the next one. No retreat. Ah. Retreat to the stairs. Close this door. Down here. Uh, and now just wait a couple of turns until we're back at ma full mana. Almost full mana. That's that's fine. Corals, arrows, water, large ration. Perfect. Or corpses. We eat them all. <laughs> We just take a little break with our cute little musician and eat the slaughtered corpses of a whole band of orcs. <laughs> like most of us cute little musicians do from time to time. Ah, seriously, who hasn't done that? Fingers up who has never eaten the dead corpse of an orc? I surely have. And that's a higher metal battle axe. You might take a look at that. I think we will. Here it is. It is a mithril battle axe. 1d6 plus 5. That's a lot more damage. That means uh, after starting with uh, staves, then training a little bit daggers, swapping over to pole arms, now we'll train axes. <laughs> a very specialized character. <laughs> Corruption trap. <clears throat> oh, my God, this beetle bites like a beast. Uh, this guy would usually be very dangerous. Luckily, we have the ability to confuse him, which greatly decreases the chance of him doing something bad to us. Okay, but he got out of the confusion. Anyways, we just reconfuse him. that got him and our access skill increases for the first time nice nice yeah that was the fifth level of the village dungeon and I can already tell you there are not that many more Oh no, we fall down the stairs for 12 points of damage. That's not so cool. Maybe we better eat a couple of these heavy food items. So we're not completely strained anymore. Maybe just... Uh, don't have any healing sources yet. Bloodstained rope. A wand of fire, cool. Let's keep in mind we have these wands. If we need to kill enemies from a distance. Once a fire could be a very valid option. Okay. 
He dropped a mithril hand axe. I also want to check that. I need to check out these mithril weapons. It's horrible. No, it's not even an adamantium hand axe, but I think it is cursed. It is cursed and it's a little bit worse than our mithril axe, I think. 1d6 plus 5 versus 1d6 plus 4. It is a little bit worse. But not that worse that I have to take extreme measures and destroy it. Just one point less damage, that's not tragic. Okay, 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 I see a lot of doggies here. It's blink dogs, and blink dogs are very dangerous. Of course, but luckily we are able to just confuse them. Uh-oh. Retreat, 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 retreat. I think against this guy it's time to use our fire wand for the first time. Excellent, and level up. Musical career, a little bit. Yeah. Mm, if we re learn mining, we might also use gemology so we can get our learning up later. Would be awesome if you get this special ability this early in the game. Yeah, that would be totally awesome. No, 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 no. Mr. Instrument Freak, I got to show you something very soon. Well, we get very quick. Take a look at this. We are a Minecrafter. Minecrafters already have teleportation control just from being a Minecrafter. So for every other character, that would be very awesome indeed. But for Minecrafters, it just doesn't matter. So we can just kill these blink dogs for the experience as quickly as possible. Yep, indeed they are. Indeed they are. Apart from the experience, of course. Experience is always nice. Could you stop attacking me from a distance, Mr. Redwing? Doppelganger. I think it's an ordinary doppelganger, isn't it? Can I confuse the doppelganger? I can. Usually the doppelganger is the one to confuse us, but this time it's the other way around. We confuse the doppelganger. Har, har. <laughs> feels pretty good, uh, I think. It feels really kind of good. <laughs> oh, again, we fell down the stairs. That's horrible. We're pretty low HP. Let's wait a couple turns here. Oh no, a ghost. Oh, we got aged. Not so good. Maybe we can retreat two steps and kill the ghost with the fire wand. Yeah, we can. Don't exactly love being at this low HP, but I, on the other hand, I'd like to finish this quest. And if we take good care, should be able to finish it, I think. Oh fuck, we got paralyzed, but he's confused. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. He does not. That's good. Can we kill it with the Mind Blast? I think we can, yeah. Maybe that goth really wanted to be on a birthday party and it's horrible that we killed it just because its biggest wish got just shortly before its biggest wish got fulfilled finally after all these eons of waiting. Oh, 
Oh no, I've got a bad feeling. Let's eat this ogre corpse for hopefully a strength increase. Nah, sadly not. Eat this large orc corpse as well. Oh, that looks like an interesting cloak. Maybe it's better than ours. Cloak of Adornment. No, it's actually worse. The appearance is not bad, but apart from that, it pretty much sucks hard. We could take it on before we sell something really big to shop. Confuse all of them. Finish off the outlaw. Finish off the orc. Okay, and this guy is the mad carpenter. Oh fuck. Can we mind blast him? Yeah, luckily. This guy is the mad carpenter. The carpenter of the village went totally mad. So we somehow have to help this guy. And luckily. On our way down here, we found a healer. Maybe if we bring him to the healer, the healer can do something for this poor carpenter. Wait a second, where is the staircase? Ah, yeah, up there. Uh, I will play a couple turns in ASCII mode just to make sure that I find the closest, quickest way to the stairs. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the graphics which, with which I uh, started playing this game. The first years I played Adom, there was no graphical tile mode and uh, it still has this amazing feeling to it, uh, playing in ASCII. Load these guys up with us and just kill them. Oh fuck. No, yeah, we fall down the stairs again. That's what I was afraid what could happen. Upstairs. I hope he cannot one-shot us from 15, but I don't think he can. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. very dangerous. Down to eight. Uh, <laughs> too dangerous. Let's pray. Let's use a prayer here. You pray to Bourbon. You are healed by uh, several lights surrounding you. Yeah. We had to do that. I think we had no chance. Can we kill this guy with a wand? I think we can, yeah. Not so bad that we had to use a prayer for, for this quest. Makes the whole thing a lot less worth. But well, sometimes there's nothing you can do. Nothing helps but a prayer. Okay, there's a goblin chieftain who is actually stronger than... Uh, Ordinary goblins, so we just confuse them before we kill them. And now we've reached the level with the healer. I remember there was also a cat up there in this room, so let's be careful. Mind blast all these enemies away. Go up into the kitty room again, open the door. Here's the cat. And here's the healer. Come on, Jared, follow me. By the way, cat, go away. What happens? 
Gerald the healer touches Eryx the mad carpenter. Let me heal ye, friend. Eryx the mad carpenter suddenly appears to be normal once more. He bows to you and puts down some items before he leaves. The wild cat seems to be confused. Yeah, yeah it is confused, definitely. But we have just proven to the healer that we are indeed capable of showing mercy. Talk to the healer again. Maybe that's enough. Maybe now he will teach us. I will teach ye the art of healing. And that's what he did. That went pretty quickly. But here we have the healing talent. A very useful talent. And that's, if you ask me, that's a good point to end this episode. The first episode in the adventures of Tiffany. So guys, let me say thanks a lot to everybody who joined me on the stream today. <laughs> first time I streamed Adam actually. <laughs> Woohoo, first time. <laughs> Great that you were there to, uh, to make that uh, a fun evening with me. <laughs> I hope to see you all again the next time I uh, play Adam either on stream or on YouTube. Tomorrow I will upload the set fight against the Skeletal King on YouTube. And in two days, this episode that we recorded today will get online on YouTube. Well, and that means that we have almost got weekend. Maybe at the weekend, uh, Thursday or Friday, I think it would be pretty cool if on Thursday evening we could record another episode in Tiffany's Adventures. Yeah, let's fix that. Thursday we continue with Tiffany. So if anybody wants to witness live how Tiffany's adventures go on, Thursday evening, same time here on the stream or Friday on the channel. <laughs> Until then, thanks for being here with me. Until next time, bye everybody. <laughs>